going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at some ADJ fixtures and these are the ADJ element hex battery power wireless DMX par cans now when they released these there were also three other fixtures that came along with this model now there's two lines there's the element hexes and the element QA series and both of those lines have both a regular hex or a regular park hand, sorry and then an IP version of the park hand. so I don't have them here today but there are element hex IP versions as well um, the IP rating I believe is 54 which means it is water resistant so it cannot you know be submerged in water it cannot go in a pool or whatever but it can get drizzled on um, a sprinkler a little splash uh, drink spilled on it that kind of stuff and it's also dust resistant as well as I mentioned what I have here is two of the element hex fixtures and I also have the ADJ Wi-Fi EXR and this is the battery version so this is actually battery powered as well if I turn the switch on you might be able to see the LEDs come on on the screen which means depending on how I choose to control my lights, I could be completely wireless out in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere and control these lights battery powered for a limited time, of course. Now, not only can these things run off their batteries, but they can also act as normal par cans and powered par cans would. So you can plug these par cans into the wall and run them while they're plugged in and you can run this while plugged in as well. Quickly, I want to talk about the Wi-Fi EXR battery receiver. Now, I set this receiver up with these two fixtures outside my house. And I live in a grid, and I went about two blocks east, and they were still changing and still responding to the DMX. And that's several hundred feet um, to go a few blocks over. And that shows the distance that this thing can put off and of course it's direct line of sight now the rating on this is 2500 feet i'm sure once you get into that 2400 foot range you're starting to push the limits and if there's any kind of interference or not a direct line of sight you could start to lose connection so just be careful of that now the wi-fi exr has this antenna that can be moved around and angled in different positions um, depending on where you're putting it, if you're rigging it on truss or if you're putting it in a case or something like that. The Wi-Fi EXR has both 5-pin and 3-pin DMX inputs and outputs, which is very handy as well, and an AC power input. On the back side, there's two little screw holes, which allow you to put a mounting yoke that comes in the box with it on it, and it allows you to attach something like a C-clamp or an O-clamp and rig it to your truss. The Wi-Fi EXR battery transmitter works great with the MyDMX3 software. As I mentioned, I did the demo outside and that I was using MyDMX3 to control the lights plugged into the receiver by my, uh, sorry, to the transmitter by my house and the lights acted as the receivers and I walked a few blocks away and they were still changing colors. Now, not only can you control these lights via DMX, but you can also control them with sound active mode built in and with the color macros. I believe there's 64 color macros built in here that you could cycle through right in the menu, set them to a custom color. Now because they have the Wi-Fi technology built in, you can master slave two of them to each other, which allows you to easily master slave a whole bunch of these and set them around a room as up lights or outside as up lights and not have to run DMX cables or power cables anywhere. It's a completely wireless solution and you would just use the master light to change the color. Now you can achieve that by going through the actual menu and setting the mode you want. It is also compatible with the UC IR remote as well as the Airstream IR DMX app which is available on iPhones and Android I believe. Now the design of these things is very clean. It looks very clean, looks very appealing. It's got a shiny black finish to it. Now it's also got these nice rubber feet which are removable on the bottom. And there's also a rubber padding on the kickstand which allows you to protect maybe the venue's floors and if these things get kicked around um, by maybe a guest or something like that, it's not going to scratch the floors, it's not gonna make any noise. And along with that, it's actually going to help prevent them from moving around because they are a kind of rubber skid-free material. Now on the top of the fixture, you have four 10 watt hex LEDs. The hex LEDs give you RGB, amber, 
white and UV, which is very handy when color mixing if you're using these as up lights or stage lights. There's a very convenient handle on the top, which allows you to easily carry these fixtures around, especially if you're placing them as up lights or removing them from a case. As I mentioned the kickstand before, it's an adjustable kickstand, which allows you to angle the up light. So if it's further away from a wall, you can angle it like that to hit the wall. And there's three different locking positions in this kickstand that you could set the light to. On the bottom, you have both power, IEC, inputs and outputs, so you can daisy chain these together if you choose to run it with regular power. The input is gonna be handy when you choose to charge these. Now, speaking of charging these, the battery life on these, if set to a static color, lasts for an amazing 11 hours. So if you just wanna use these at a house party or something like that and set them to a static color, you'll get 11 hours of battery life out of these, which is incredible. It's a lot longer than a lot of the other ones you'll see in the market. Now you also have DMX three pin inputs and outputs, which allows you to chain this fixture in line if you're running hardwired DMX instead of the Wi-Fi technology. But not only that, if you guys are DJs running truss with up lights in them, you use these as your up lights, you can run DMX output from this fixture straight up the truss into a moving head or a par or something at the top of the truss. And that gives you basically wireless technology to those moving heads. You don't need to run a DMX cable into here to get the signal to those moving heads. This will act as the receiver of the DMX signal and then you could send it out of here up to the light, which is really convenient. It makes your setups a lot easier and cuts your setup time nearly in half. Now on the menu, as you can see, it's flashing B, zero, and then a number. That is the battery percentage. So right now it is on 19%. Again, this is set to a static color. So we are gonna get 11 hours out of this thing total. When charging this thing, you gotta make sure to go through the menu until you see the load option. It's gonna be LO and then O on for on. You're gonna wanna make sure you turn the load off. That's gonna shut the fixture off. The output is gonna turn off and that's how you're gonna charge it the fastest, which charges in about 4.5 hours. Now, as I mentioned before, these things are R, G, B, A, W, N, U, V. So you're gonna get red with these, you're gonna get green, blue, pure white, which is super nice. It looks very clean and elegant. You're gonna get amber, and of course you're gonna get your UV, which is also known as that black light color. You can see the cases glowing in the background. Now this allows for some really unique color mixing. As you might have noticed, I was just changing these with the UCIR remote, and as you can see, they are very responsive. Now granted, I do have these very close to each other. If I move the remote a little bit further away, you'll notice I'm only catching one of them. This remote allows you to control everything, just like the strobing and the color macros, the dimmer, fades. You can put on a whole bunch of cool effects um, and all the presets that you could access in the menu using this remote. Now, once again, I wanna thank everyone for coming out to the channel. Be sure to subscribe so you get notified when I release new videos and more content just like this. I've got tons more videos lined up for you guys. Now, once again, this was the ADJ Element Hex. It's a battery powered wireless DMX par up to 2,500 feet with the EXR Wi-Fi technology. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.